You know, the 10 flights that have been above 50,000 feet that have been done by the Perlin Project represent success. We've taken the, the previous record before the Perlin Project, 49,000 feet, and we've kicked that up to uh, 76,000 feet. So we've, we've made that record unreachable for anyone that's not really serious. The Perlin Project is a fantastic voyage to the edge of space, riding stratospheric mountain waves. Waves in the stratosphere are generated when wind blows over a mountain range and creates waves, and then the polar vortex transmits those to the top of the atmosphere. The Airbus Perlin Mission 2 is made up of all volunteers. Everybody on the team is really putting in effort beyond 100%. The team over here is comprising of many people coming from different backgrounds and uh, all of them are very highly trained personals and uh, they bring their expertise into the team. Personal goals to find out what's up there, to find out what where the conditions really exist at 80, 90,000 feet in that layer of the atmosphere where no other airplane can fly. And the dynamic is that we're held together by a common vision. Anar Intervalson observed stratospheric waves and dreamed that they could be soared to the edge of space. And to be able to accomplish Anar's vision is more important than records we've set. The altitudes at which we've flown approximate the conditions found on Mars. The air is so thin that previously it took giant motors to drive airplanes. We're trying to demonstrate that it can be done with less energy and zero pollution. For the last 10 years, we could not have done this without Airbus. They have been the best partner that we possibly could have imagined. We're doing the impossible right now. And how often nowadays do people do the impossible? To be able to actually get it into the stratosphere and to have a number of flights up over 60,000 feet. We've gone where no other glider has ever gone on flights that people told us was outright impossible to do. We're carrying about 20 experiments. Half of them have been built by students. The students that have built CubeSats are going to be able to receive data that is taken at the edge of space. They will be able to follow us real time, and we're hoping that doing real science real time will charge their imaginations and inspire them. I was inspired to take up soaring because of the National Geographic article, and hopefully the Perlin Project has inspired other people to take up flying, engineering, and math. To me, one of the things I said to myself coming into the Perlin Project is I want you know, kids to be inspired by this. And every gliding club around the world should get one more member. Many, many aviation textbooks in the future will have a chapter on high altitude and Perlin's gonna be front and center in that. For Airbus Perlin Mission 2, it has been an amazing journey. It will continue to be amazing. So stay tuned. Let's see what the future holds. <laughs>